not to read too much into it, I know a lot can change it here, but just your experience having seen NC State you know, in the recent past, how valuable is that or is it out the window with a new, you know, kind of a new season? Well, I think it's valuable because, you know, you'll know some of the personnel that they have. Obviously, they have some new guys as well. Uh, but I will say this about NC State, that they are physical, they play hard, they play well with their hands, and they go the football. Uh, that's a sign of a great coach team. Coach Willis does a great job over there, and we got a lot of respect for him. And just knowing very little about one thing, it seems like that they do a lot of multiplicity in the front seven. Is that you know they jump around a lot and try to confuse you? Is that accurate? Well, I think they do a lot of movement. That that comes with their blitz package as well. You know, um, you're not going to play NC State and get a base front, and them guys line up and uh, they're going to move and they're going to bring linebackers and. And uh, they're going to line up in three or four different fronts and try to confuse you a little bit, like you said. And I know talking to you earlier, you said as a coach in the, pre in the preseason, that's one thing you always worried about. Have, you, have we worked enough on movement? And that, you know, how do you, how do you feel three days before kickoff? Well, we certainly hope we have. You know, um, movement is one of those things. And, and I'll tell you what it is, it's because of the speed. You know, it's hard to duplicate the pace and the speed of what North Carolina State's going to be when they bring that Sam off the edge and bring the Sam Mike strong dog and all these type of things that they have so uh, I think we're ready for it we've done it with some quick guys so we'll see and you know, knock on wood but injuries have not been an issue up front I mean, the continuity looked like it's been the same from day one of fall camp how is, is that you know as a coach is that exactly kind of what you're after and how valuable is it it's been good and it's very valuable it's been good and then uh, uh, I don't want to address that any further <laughs> <laughs> With Antonio, I mean, can you just talk about where, where he's been since spring? He's the only first-time starter you got, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of you know traditional first-time starter concerns with him. Is that you can just talk about the progress he's made since moving to the starting lineup? Well, there's no more concern with him than there is anybody else that we have. Uh, uh, he's playing by a veteran guy, so uh, Dallas will help him when he need it, when he needs it. But I'm excited to see him turn it loose. You know, I don't, I don't want him to be too overhyped and this, that, and the other because he's talented enough to have success without that. I just want him to go in there and, and do his thing, and I think he's ready to do that. Do you uh, feel you were talking that you were close to having 10? Do you feel you have 10 going into this first one? No, honestly, we don't. I mean, we're not there yet, but I think we can get there. But uh, going into the game, uh, I don't think we say that we can, you know, that we're, we're 10 deep. Uh, but uh, we're closer than, than uh, maybe even even I thought we might be. Uh, obviously, the goal is always to get at least 10, and, and I think we can get there. I just, we're just not quite there yet. Considering that you're not there, how much does it help that you've got some versatility backing up those spots? Well, it's a big deal. You know, obviously, everybody knows that, that uh, Dallas Thomas would be the next you know, left tackle in, and obviously, when you got a guy that started for two years out there, you know, that's not a bad a bad thing at all. So uh, you know, we just we just have to decide on who'd be the next guard, right guard, who'd be the next. You know, obviously, Marcus James gonna be the next left guard in the game. Uh, how we're gonna do the right side? Uh, you know, we're getting close to deciding on what that's gonna be too. Do you think your group is ready to go play a game? Yeah, I do. Have they have they kind of shown you that? You know, is that something they've kind of shown you in the past? I mean, were they ready two weeks ago? Physically, we're ready to go play the game. Uh, mentally, I think we're ready to go play the game. Uh, I'm concerned about all the movement from NC State. They're going to move on us, and uh, I hope we're ready for it. I think we've practiced enough on it. I think we will be. You talked about physically. Mentally, is there attitude where it needs to be? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're ready to go. kind of is their attitude? Ready to go. I mean, how, how are you? Is it just playing physically ready to go at this point? Well, I think they're excited about playing. You know, uh, uh, I think they feel like they've had a good camp. I think they feel like they're ready to go physically. They seem to be in a good mood. They've been working hard. I'm, I'm excited to see them play. You obviously, being in North Carolina, have a little bit maybe a little bit more familiarity with NC State than some of the other coaches on staff. I mean, you, they still kind of do some of the same things they, they did. Yeah, they're identical to what they've been in the last five years, and they beat North Carolina every single time. So, obviously, they're a physical group. They, they play hard. They're well coached. They're going to move on you. They're going to blitz you. 
and it hasn't changed over really much. You know, when Coach Nuda came in there, they they had a few more blitzes, mostly their odd package. But other than that, they're doing an identical thing they've done, I would assume, since they were at Boston College, um, and it's always been successful. This team's going to play hard as heck. You know, last year they were down to Maryland 41-14, to and they beat them 56-41. to It's a good football team. Just to uh, kind of build off that, when I was just looking at the 